Hey YouTubers! This series will be about uh, a beginner's guide to the saltwater aquarium um, reef tank. So where there will be corals, there will be like some seawater fish like Nemo, which is actually called clownfish. Uh, we'll get some uh, information about the, even the freshwater tanks and how to choose them. We'll go to something like the sump and how this can help the saltwater aquarium. Uh, we'll speak about the chemicals, the nitrogen cycle, about the lighting and what to do where and all these filtration components, mechanical, um, biological filtration and all that stuff. Um, so that's the aim of the series. So hopefully you'll enjoy it and learn from it as I learned uh, from lots of reading and videos. Uh, so let's start by choosing the tank. As you see, tanks come in different shapes and sizes. So the most important thing in a tank is to achieve the stability. So your system should be uh, as stable as possible in terms of uh, variation in temperature, variation in uh, chemicals, variation in lighting. So you try to minimize any sudden impact and that's the aim of the tank. So the bigger the tank, the easier to make it stable because it won't heat so quickly, the chemical um, changes won't happen so quickly. So you need to get the biggest tank you can afford or the biggest tank you have a space for. And then we come to the shape of the tank. Rectangular tanks are the most common ones because they provide the maximum surface area. Surface area is what's important to provide the air exchange. Whenever I used to find those little bubbles going out from any aquarium, I thought that's how the oxygen is melted with the water. But actually, that's not so effective in um, increasing the oxygen in the water. What actually this water or these bubbles are doing, they are creating ripples on the surface. So as it becomes wavy, the surface area of the water becomes more. So you add more surface area and therefore more exchange. That's why this variating water is what you need to achieve the best um, air exchange. You see some irregular shapes like this. Of course, having the water here is the optimum because that gives the maximum surface area. The higher you go, especially in the bowls, if you fill it so much, you get less air exchange because you get at the end on the top less air area. This is the tank of my choice. So this is like 90 centimeter tank from uh, EA Reef Pro and that's made for salt water. Forget about things inside, this we'll speak about later, but it comes with a sump. The sump is where um, you get the additional stuff for filtration, for additional water capacity, etc., which is very important for the salt water tank compared to the fresh water tank, which doesn't necessarily need that area, which is called the sump. But we'll speak about it, and this is my tank. And this is the tank at home. I mean, you can see the barrels of salt water, but this is my tank, so it fits very well in this space. That's why I got this size. Make sure you have a good distribution unit. Put some stickers because you'll have lots of plugs to put so that you know which one is which. This is the tank and this is the sump. The sump, I'll try to explain. Um, don't worry about these things. I will explain it later. So this is called the skimmer. That thing at the back, if you can see it, this is called the bio pellet reactor. Here, this would be my refugium. This is the return pump. So the water comes here. If you put nothing, nothing from this stuff, so all this area will have water. So this will add to the volume that you have in the tank. And this means you have higher stability. So what we need to put first in the tank. So we have the sand and the rock. If you go to the store, um, you will find that they are selling different kinds of rocks but there are basically two categories. One is called dead rock and the other one is called live rock. The live rock normally they keep it in water, in running water. And live rock, the difference is um, it's more porous, so it's having like spaces, it's not that heavy, and it carries bacteria in it. And we'll, we'll understand the role of bacteria in the aquarium. The dead rock doesn't have any bacteria, so basically it's a dead rock. The same thing with sand. So you'll have the option of dead sand 
and live sand. So what I'm going to do in this tank, I will put live sand. So this is sold in a bag and actually it has water. Um, I'll put live sand, but regarding the rock, I will have a mix of dead rock and live rock. The advantage of having a live sand or live rock is basically that you introduce the bacteria early so that when you start running the aquarium, you need to do something called cycling the tank. Cycling the tank to make sure that the nitrogen cycle, which I'll speak about in a, in a separate video, that is complete and then the tank is free from any toxins from the, any living uh, stock that you'll put there. Um, and the live rock, the live sand will make that process quicker. If you put dead rock or dead sand, you can still do that and some people prefer to do that because they can really control the shape more or the landscaping. But you need to wait longer for the bacteria to populate or you need to add some bacteria colonies in the water so that you create that bacteria that is missing from the live sand and the dead sand or the live rock and the dead rock. So um, we'll start with landscaping and then let's see what we will have. Okay, now I put the rocks, the sand. You can control how deep you want the sand bed. You design the rocks the way you want. You try basically to design it in a way that you know okay, where you will put the corals in the future, create some caves for shrimps and crabs to hide if there are like some scary fish. And this is the sump where I have my skimmer, reactor, macroalgae, we understand all that and that's part of the pump that takes to the top. So that's enough to digest in one day. So um, I will update you with the tank next time. So hopefully it will be less cloudy because the sand is fresh, it's still flying. So hopefully in the next video you'll see a better results and see you next time.